Hello Mila, hello Jack. Hello anyone else who is watching. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from the Bob the Builder series and it is Scoop's Stegosaurus. It was a busy morning at the yard. Bob, Scoop and Lofty were off to Farmer Pickle's farm to lay some new pipes. Wendy was going into town to build some cabinets for the museum. Oh, Wendy, I've never seen a museum, said Dizzy. Can I come too, please? Wendy smiled. Of course, she said. Yes, said Dizzy, spinning round and round. Thanks, Wendy. Bob, Scoop and Lofty found Farmer Pickles looking very gloomy. All this rain has made my field so muddy, nothing will grow in it, he said. Don't worry, Farmer Pickles. These pipes will drain the water off the fields in no time, said Bob cheerfully. In the museum, Wendy was busy measuring the display cabinets. Dizzy was talking to Mr Ellis, the museum curator. See this, he said, holding up a pot. It's all old and cracked, said Dizzy. That's because it's over 4,000 years old, Mr Ellis replied. And that means people have been living round here for ages. Wow, gasped Dizzy in amazement. At Farmer Pickle's farm, Scoop was busy digging a deep trench when Bob spotted something. Hang on, Scoop. Look at these huge bones, Bob shouted. Wow, cried Scoop. Maybe they're dinosaur bones, said Bob excitedly. I'm going to ring the museum and get Mr Ellis to have a look. Mr Ellis carefully examined all the bones in the trench. Scoop, you've dug up a dinosaur called a Stegosaurus. I think this is a complete skeleton. Wow, cried Scoop and Bob. These bones are very old and fragile, explained Mr Ellis. I'll have to get a special machine to collect them. You go, Mr Ellis. I'll guard the bones, said Scoop. Bob covered the bones with a tarpaulin and left with Mr Ellis. Oh, what's under there, Scoop? asked Spud, poking at the tarpaulin. I've just dug up some dinosaur bones, and I'm guarding them. Nobody's allowed to see them, said Scoop firmly. I found some bones too, said Spud with a cheeky grin. I'll let you see mine if you let me see yours. Oh, OK then, Scoop said, and he went over to the next field to take a quick look. He 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 he, giggled Spud. Cool, I'll borrow some of these bones. When the bones arrived at the museum, Mr Ellis studied the plan he had made. That's strange, he said to Bob. There are bones missing. If we had a complete skeleton, our little museum would have been famous all over the world. What a shame, said Bob. Maybe there are still some bones left in the field. Bob didn't find any other bones in the field. Maybe the missing bones are the ones Spud found, said Scoop thoughtfully. Spud? gasped Bob. Yes, Spud told me he'd found some bones in the next field but I couldn't find them. I was only away a few minutes, said Scoop. Oh no, I think I know who has got our missing bones, said Bob as he hurried off. Meanwhile, roll up, roll up, come and see Spudulosaurus, the scariest dinosaur ever, Spud called proudly to Travis. It looked like a load of old bones to me, muttered Travis. Then Bob arrived. Spud, you found those bones under my tarpaulin sheet, didn't you? Uh, yes. Sorry, Bob, muttered Spud. They're not yours, said Bob sternly. I'll take them back to the museum now. At the museum, Mr Ellis fixed all the dinosaur bones into place. This is magnificent, he said proudly. A complete stegosaurus skeleton. Who would have thought that dinosaurs used to live around here, gasped Wendy. I'm so glad they don't now, giggled Dizzy. Mr Ellis gave Bob a present for Scoop to say thank you for finding the dinosaur bones. Back at the yard, Bob gave Scoop the present for Mr Ellis. Look, cried Bob, it's a toy stegosaurus. That's 
Brilliant, said Scoop proudly. Suddenly, the Stegosaurus slipped out of Bob's fingers and landed on Pilchard's nose. She howled and ran across the yard. If Pilchard's frightened of that, just think what she'd be like if she met a Dizzysaurus, giggled Bob. Roar! The machines raced around the yard, pretending to be big scary dinosaurs. Hee hee, I'm a Scooplodicus. Grr grr, laughed Scoop. Look out, called Roly. Here comes a Roly Dactyl. Ark, ark. Oh, I don't like dinosaurs, cried Lofty. I'll save you, Lofty, said Muck. I'm the mighty Muckasaurus Rex. Rawr! The end. Bye-bye, Mila. Bye-bye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone else who's watching. Bye.